Well, hi there, and welcome, Aries, and thank you for your patience. I uh, forced myself to take a mental health day off, and now I'm back at work. If you want a reading meant just for you, reach out to me through my Weebly webpage. The contact information is there, or through my email address. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to go over to my, we, uh, my Vimeo channel. I'm going to run a love video, nine card, past, present, and future for you guys. You'll be able to find that love video over there at that link. That's also, I'm going to leave it here for you. Okay, so Aries, look, at the very focus of this Celtic cross, and I'm using this instead of a significator. We got trapped in fear, the Eight of Swords. Now, I don't know what Aries is worried about. It can be anything. Anything that stresses you out to the point where maybe you're actually in physical pain. Because I'm actually seeing some physical reasons why you're feeling like this. This person is holding their head. He's holding a knee. It may be a physical pain. It looks like the foot may be giving, uh, away, giving out some issues. Uh, it may be a financial thing because it appears that he's naked under this coat that he wears. And so uh, we've got maybe some financial issues going on uh, combined with, with some physical is what I'm hearing for some of you. You may be dealing with insurance issues right now, aren't we all? Okay, so here we go. At the bottom, representing you, we've got the Six of Wands. So maybe you're feeling better. Maybe you're coming out of a stage where you were down, down and out, maybe even hurt in some way. But it looks like you might be coming out of that. The Two of Swords. This is interesting because we have this uh, card of feeling better. It represents you, but what crosses you is the Two of Swords. Um, uh, being uh, unable to see or refusing to see something. Maybe you're refusing to acknowledge your physical issues. Are you having financial problems, insurance issues? Are you dealing with physical pain of some point? You keep going. You keep plodding through you, your day. You keep going, but you're not a, acknowledging these pains, these aches, these unfortunate feelings that you're having. Now... We've got the Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Knight of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Four of Cups. The Two of Cups, the Judgment card, King of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. So I think all in all, Regardless of what we're dealing with here, and it may be something on a physical level. It may be uh, an, uh, uh, um, an injury that is what's keeping you from moving forward the way you'd want to. I hear the words coming to me, I wish I could work except for these headaches, except for this knee pain, except for this back. I'd love to contribute, but I can't find a job. And that's where the Knight of Pentacles comes in. So the Knight of Pentacles is complaining. I'd love to work, except I have headaches. Except I, I have no transportation. I have all of these unseen things, all of these problems that you can't actually see. And they keep me from moving forward. But now we've got this foundation. 
that says, okay, I got to get up. I got to go. I got to do it. Even though I've got these pains, I've got these problems. I need to have this knee replaced, but I have no insurance. I love to go to work, but I'm dealing with all of this other shit that's keeping me trapped, isolated, stuck. And maybe even refusing to see that you have to change. You have to change the situation in order to have some sort of normalcy. Is what the words that are being fed to me. So at the foundation, you know what you have to do. You know what movement you need to make. And even though the changes might be slow coming, maybe even the money, the financial part, is what's slow to come. Maybe you're waiting for some systematic um, payout of some kind. Um, I think that that's slow to come. And I think that maybe some of you who have applied for some sort of social help, I think that, um, I don't know if it's going to come. And I don't know if it's going to come in time, honestly. Because this King of Swords, who sits in present day, he's the one that sits in judgment. He's the one that decides yes or no. I give you what you need to survive while you cannot work. Feels to me like somebody is dealing with some system stuff. Um... <clears throat> Medicaid, Medicare, are you waiting for uh, an insurance policy to pay out? Something like that. Um, and, and the movement has been slow, but now we have this past situation, the Knight of Wands. And it appears that maybe something did happen, an accident of some kind, if I flip this guy on his head. It's going to tell me that maybe in the past or even the recent past, you had a bit of a, an accident, an upset, an injury, an old injury that's back to keep you off your feet. But you need to get paid so that you can take care of your family. Uh, I do feel that for whoever this is, it's the system that's failing on you in the present day. Because I do think that you have, some of you reached out for help, asked for assistance. And I do see that at some point, there will be an offer. There will be something um, that comes your way with the Four of Cups. But it may just not be enough to serve you well. Um, the card that represents yourself. The Two of Cups. So you may be observing some new things, new ways to be happy with your life. Because some of you are just searching for the happiness. Some of you are looking at your associates and wondering, you know, who, who can I look, look to? Who can I turn to? Who can I trust? And maybe some of you are even asking that very question about family members, about the structural, the structural, structural, thank you, system that is passing judgment on you. There's something here. There's something here you're waiting on. And what I think you're waiting on is someone's judgment, someone to decide or some entity to decide whether or not you get a chance to move forward with something. To me, it, it talks about the need to have some sort of a, even an emotional victory here of some kind. This card of judgment There's something almost immoral that I feel 
the system is trying to pull on someone. But I do see a good outcome coming. So I think what you may be actually going through right now is the decision-making process. Whatever this thing is that you're looking to for assistance, I think you're sitting right now in that decision-making environment. And the King of Wands is just looking for what he wants and what he needs. This is in your hopes and fears. So we're going to put this in the category of hope. And what you're hoping for is getting what it is that you want and what you need out of this request that you've made to what I really think is very much a system run kind of request. Maybe even a bank loan at a really bad time. Oh, goody. Now, what we have at the very end of it, the outcome, is the Nine of Pentacles. So I think there's going to be some sort of victory. It's going to put you in a better place. Whether it's finding a job that you can manage while you invest yourself in something new. Because I think, I see some of you starting something from your home, something creative, something that you can do independently by yourself. Some of you are going to start a garden of tomatoes and sell tomatoes at a farm stand uh, that you put up in front of your, your home. You know, there are a lot of ways of independently earning money. I see a lot of you earning money through garage sales and street sales and um, even flea markets. I can see a lot of people just taking the, the stockpiles of stuff that they have in the garage and putting it back out into the system, putting it out into the market. So I think there are solutions is what this is saying, that even though things look hard for someone, I think that there are solutions uh, that maybe you have not looked at yet. Possibilities definitely there of making life better for you in whatever the situation is. Where it feels like you're being controlled more by a systematic failure than your own. I think some of you are healing wounds and asking for help. Uh, from maybe Medicare or Medicaid again. Um, some of you are going to come up with the right idea so that you can supplement your income from home. Congratulations. Now, let's see what we've got here. What does Spirit want to clarify? You may be in a... Phase of just kind of holding on to what you have, what you have. Maybe being a little bit greedy, a little bit self-reliant. Um, maybe holding on a little bit tightly to what it is that you've been building on whatever you've been growing. The Seven of Cups. You may have a lot of options in front of you. When uh, things start to produce itself, for whoever this is that's deciding, hey, I'm going to stay home and I'm going to earn my living. I'm going to get out there and I'm going to produce uh, videos and I'm going to teach people how to make wine and I'm going to make money doing it. And when you figure out how to do that independent creative thing from home, 
I think you start to lighten up a little bit, loosen up on your money. It may be slow going at first. It usually is when you do decide to start uh, something independent in nature, especially from home. Sometimes you get a lot of crap from your family because they think you're in your way, you're in their way while you're doing this. Uh, you'll find your way through all of that. Some of you are willing to take a risk on something brand new. And I do see that for some of you, there is a element of speed connected to the progress of this thing. And again, this can talk about swift action. It can talk about the divine timing. And that's where I'm going to place this thing. I think we're talking about things opening up when the timing is right. So I can see a lot of you maybe deciding that jobs aren't coming back. And what you have to figure out is a way to accommodate yourself and your own life through changes, through marked changes. And, and for some of you, it's going to be within your own home. And whatever the outcome is, you're really going to, you're going to come out on top, whoever this is talking to. So there you go. I wish you well, Aries. Good luck on this. Take care. Be well. And peace.